Two bounce remain here in our NJCAA semifinal. Move to 197 pounds. Meet Tim Young, a freshman from Aurora, Illinois, home of one Wayne Campbell. And fourth ranked Rustin Duke, a redshirt freshman from Ardmore, Oklahoma. Plainview High School, the second Ardmore native we've seen here in the duel today. The other is at 149 pounds, Dylan Lucas. Young freshman, unranked Duke, redshirt freshman, ranked fourth. Ankle attempt by Young. Half shot attempt by Duke. Countered with a, a snap and spin go by. Now we're in a over under position here. Looking to step inside as Duke. Adjusting with a body lock as Young. I think we might have some fireworks here, folks. Now double overs. Countered with a body lock. And Tim Young going to use that body lock. To get two on the takedown. Referee might have missed a locked hands call there, but... Young striking first. Not impressed by the number four in front of Mr. Duke's name. Although that is a cool wrestling name. I mean, Rustin Duke. It's, you, you sound like a wrestler. So props to his folks. One on the escape for Duke. So a 2-1 lead for Tim Young. Young digging the underhook to the near side. Duke tried to go high C, didn't go anywhere. Young snatches up the leg. And good reshot double on the edge, but we'll go out of bounds, get a fresh start. This is some good action here, folks. NJCAA National Championships coming up February 24th and 25th. Council Bluffs, Iowa at the Mid-America Center. Place that's built for wrestling. The reason we say that, there are two giant gold wrestlers as statues outside of the Mid-America Center. Could also make the claim about fishing because there's a giant Bass Pro Shops next door to that as well. But We'll stick with the wrestling theme here. It's a wrestling broadcast. Young drops down to that low ankle again. This time Duke spins behind. Tries to drag the toe. Does not get control. Still good mat awareness there. Under a minute to go here in the first. And a 2-1 lead for the Illinois native. Gold star if you picked up the Wayne Campbell reference earlier from Aurora, Illinois. Both these guys got some length to them. Another sweep, and he's been getting to that ankle, and Duke's been playing with fire the entire first period. Just kind of yanking it away. The arm drag attempt by Duke goes nowhere. Duke going to go with the underhooks. Young posting on the hip in short time. And that'll be the end of one. 2 1 lead for Young. Young will start down. Getting our scoreboard figured out. At the head table, Mike Manahan over there getting things done. Now we've got everything all figured. And 
And Young start. Now we've got a... Well, that was a quick escape. I thought it was going to go a caution because it looked like Young jumped the gun, but apparently not. One on the escape, 3-1. You see Young just getting to that ankle again and again and again, but just cannot finish. And we've got a stall warning against Duke. Back it out. I'm actually surprised Joe Renfro hasn't uh, questioned any of these stall calls the last two bouts. That one again, you can make a case against for sure. But there's also a reason I'm not wearing the uh, gray officials' uniforms. Young hanging in the center of the mat. Controlling that left wrist. Pressuring forward. Duke trying the outside, outside trip. Young counters it with a body lock. Duke tries to throw it through, gets caught on his back. A little scramble here. He's gonna come out on top. And Young going to win the battle of the scramble and go up 5-1. to one. Looked like we had a 50-50 position in terms of who was going to win that one. Five one as we head into the third period. Duke gonna start down. Young's like, no, we're gonna stay. Uh, we're gonna go up. So five to two after the escape. And you can grant that optional escape. You said, no, let's start up. Give your opponent a point, and you start on your feet. So five to two. And double leg's going to finish with two, and Young going to go up seven to two. Cole Spree says, cut him loose, cut him loose. Big shove with the escape now seven to three. Stall warning on Duke, going to give one to Young. Double leg. Duke trying to funk roll through. Extending scramble continues. Young trying to clear that left leg. Snakes the inside ankle. Spins behind, goes behind, two more. Nine to three. Nine to four, riding time is locked up, but we're in short time here. Duke gonna have to go for the home run. And that'll do it. Back-to-back -back upset victories for Ellsworth.
Let's save some face here. 10 to 4 victory for Tim Young. Well, Anthony Collins knocked off number seven, Devin Crawl. Anthony and Tim Young steps up to the mat to knock off Rustin Duke.